Everyone says they want to make money online, they want to rank their website on Google, but almost nobody actually knows what Google wants. No one really knows what the internet is asking for. Most people have no clue, right? You waste hours chasing keywords, guessing what people want. You're building content on your website based around your own bias, your own assumptions. Meanwhile, someone else is reverse engineering demand in publishing smarter, faster, and cheaper, which is what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna show you what we do at the Rank Expand Agency and in the Rank Expand Academy. We have clients that pay my firm hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of the client lifespan. Why? Because we know how to rank a website now, even in this weird AI environment. So this video is about owning the entire data loop. So seeing what real users search for, what they click on, what questions they ask. And we're gonna turn that chaos into predictable, monetizable content. Now off the bat, we are gonna use this document as our template, right? Rank on Google using AI and automation. People come into the Rank Expand Academy and there's some old school SEO people in there, people who've been doing this for years, right? Years and years. And what they realize is if you do not figure out these two things, AI and automation, you're gonna be left in the dust, right? So we're gonna use this. This is a bonus to the video and you have access to this in the Academy. So what does this actually do? So the whole idea here is that we used to have teams of people to create content for our websites, to do the ideation, the keyword research. We don't need that anymore. It can be a one person shop that competes against these mega agencies. You can outrank agencies if you know what you're doing, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a Google Sheet and we're going to do, I think it's five different things, let's check it out. So number one, we're gonna pull related keywords based upon any keyword we type in. You're gonna see how this works. We're gonna do keyword suggestions, autocomplete suggestions, content ideas, SERP and people also ask. What this effectively does, it pulls real data quickly so you don't have to and then you can make good decisions based upon the data now i just hit the execute button you can kind of see it working down here if i were to zoom in right let's come down here do you see it get serps it's doing stuff we're using different apis right we're using data for seo that's a great api to use very affordable very cheap how to get real world data i really like it so what it's going to do let's go over to our sheet so it ran this one right off the bat best beaches in hawaii so what you're going to do you're going to type in any keyword you want to rank here. And we're going to go after three. We're going to go after informational content such as best beaches in Hawaii, which is good supplementary information for certain websites. Info websites are hard to rank nowadays, but it still has its place. Then we're going to do lawyers in Dallas, Texas. We're going to go after local business type of stuff. And then we're going to do e-com, best supplements for agents. So what we're going to see, right, as we come over here, we have all these results in our different um, what are these called? The uh, Excel tabs, I guess. So all results right here, keyword that are related keywords right here. And listen, that was a click of the button. So, so everything you see from this point on was me typing in best beaches in Hawaii into the Google sheet, coming over here, right? And clicking this execute workflow. So I'm showing you the results first and we're gonna go over it. So off the bat, we have related keywords, right? Here's all the related keywords. Here's the volumes pertaining to them. Uh, search intent is informational. One of them is commercial, right? The hotels one is commercial. Great. We come over here. Um, we have difficulty score, right? The lower, the better, easier to rank competition, low, a uh, cost per click, right? All of a sudden we have for a fraction of the price of HRS or SEMrush, we have the data we need, right? So we can keep it coming. We have keyword suggestions, best beaches in Hawaii, in Kona, Hawaii, in Honolulu, etc. So that's everything that it pulled. And then it's also going to tease out, right? All the specific things here. So we have autocomplete suggestions, right? Best beaches in Hawaii for families or Big Island for couples. So when you type into Google, if I come over here, best beaches in Hawaii, what you could do, you can scrape these auto, auto suggestions. Well, that's exactly what this tool can do as well. And here we have them all right here. So all of a sudden we have all this data and we're just, we're just getting cooking, right? We're just started. We have all this data and whoever has more data to make good decisions is usually the one who's going to win, right? Especially if it happens quickly and fast. We have content ideas. So for blog posts, you might want to consider this based upon the data we just talked about. Top rated beaches in Hawaii, best beaches for uh, families, for surfing, etc. Now this one right here, this is cool. This is very cool. You could use this tab in itself to do a lot of different things. What it does, it pulls the top SERP results. 
So this one right here, if I click on this website, which I'm not going to do because it probably would lag my computer, it's going to show you, all right, this one right here is ranking number one. This one's number two. You can see what their descriptions are. If we scroll over to the right, descriptions here, right? And it shows you, okay, this is Hawaii's best beaches, and here's all the beaches they list. It's pretty darn wild. And then the last one is people also ask, and then you have all these questions you can ask. So for what, five seconds of your time, you typed in the keyword, you get all this information back, and now you basically have a content brief that's based upon real world data. Now let's do it again. Let's hit execute workflow. Let's see what happens. Okay, it quickly parses into our Google Sheet, and then it's gonna go up here to related keywords, and it's gonna push the Google Sheet. Keyword suggestions, push the sheet. What we're trying to do on this instance is rank a local business. So we're going over three things today informational websites that works for local business let's see how it does and then we're going to go after ecom right so if i was in dallas texas and i had a law firm or maybe i have a law firm client and i want to rank higher what am i going to do what i'm going to do is figure out the the arena in which i play what are all the competitors doing what should i do because google is like playing chess in chess you have all the pieces visible there is no fog of war so we might as well figure out what our competition is doing right so let's come over to our sheet Okay, it looks like it ran in that little time span. And here we go. For a local business, how did we do? So related keywords right here, lawyers in Dallas, Texas, Dallas attorneys. So off the bat, right, let's say I'm not versed in this niche. I might not have thought of saying attorneys instead of lawyers. Do you see there's like a nuance of language? All of a sudden, we can optimize the website for these nuances, right? Immigration lawyers in Dallas, Texas, best lawyers in Dallas, Texas. You can see the volumes. You can see exactly what to target on your website, right? And then right here, I'm very surprised actually by the volumes. It's kind of crazy to me how much volume there is on this niche, this local business. Let's keep it rolling. Um, related keywords, keyword suggestions, all right? Auto suggest, this is always good. We went over this, but let's see what this is. Lawyers in Dallas, Texas, immigration lawyers, criminal lawyers, all of this. It's like a gold mine. All you have to do is just pick up the gold now off the ground and figure out what to do with it, right? Not that hard. Content ideas. So if you have a blog on your law website, here you go. Here's some blog posts to do. And then here's the top ranking guys. And then people also ask, how much does a lawyer cost in tech, uh, Dallas? Uh, is $400 an hour a lot for a lawyer? Now, all of a sudden, you know how to supplement your blog posts with frequently asked questions. And you can roll in schema, structured data, all these things. So I think we were pretty darn successful with the local business. And it's crazy to me how fast this thing runs. I mean, you saw it live. That took no time at all. Now, next up, we have the last, the e-com best supplements for agents. So e-com can be a very, very profitable niche, right? E-commerce, you can drop ship, you can sell it yourself, you can do high ticket drop ship. And there's so many different ways to make money here. Let's see how it does. So the keyword I want to go after is best supplements for agent. I already hit go on the, the workflow and there, boom. So that literally took like 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We'll look at it in a second. We see sponsored, 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 a lot of sponsored. There's sponsored products over here. You know, e-com can be difficult. Let's see what it pulled. I'm curious, did we do a good job? So here we go, related keywords, boom. Best supplements for skin elasticity. That makes a lot of sense. If we're going after aging to look younger, reverse aging, that makes a lot of sense. So instead of like, and I know ChatGPT and all the AI tools can be like a crutch, and it can kind of like not make us think as people. But when we're doing things to make money, we need to be fast, right? We need to be fast. And I don't want to think, sit down for 10 minutes in my room and say, huh, skin elasticity would be a good one to go after. No, no, no. I'm just going to use the data that's given to us, right? All these, there's, like I said before, there's gold on the ground here. You just got to pick it up now. Uh, related keywords. We went over that. Keyword suggestions. You got it. Autocomplete. All right. Best supplements for aging skin. So now I know skin is a one. Uh, dogs probably not relevant women men brain look all of this could be content for your website how to structure the website semantically very very powerful uh, content ideas so some blogs you could roll uh, key vitamins and minerals for seniors omega-3 fatty acids and brain health makes a lot of sense to me here's the serps right we have pretty hard serps right so i probably wouldn't attack so this is cool right i wouldn't attack that keyword specifically head on because right here i see johns hopkins i see Business Insider, Women's Health. So all of a sudden I know, all right, I would have to fight Mike Tyson 
and I don't want to fight Mike Tyson. I have to come at a different angle. So this tool allows you to say, all right, for that keyword we went after, that might be a bit too difficult, but we certainly got a lot of good ideas out of it. And then here's some people also asks, which supplement is best for anti-aging and so on. So at the end of the day, what this does, in my opinion, and why we use it at our agency, it speeds up the process. It has real world data. We still need a human in the loop, right? A small bit of human in the loop. And I like that because the human can give you edge. One person can then compete against an agency using a tool like this. If you have a website, you want to rank higher. How are you going to do it? You're going to use real world data, use something like this. It will be available for download in the Rank Expand Academy today. Come in here. This is one of the fastest growing school communities on the platform. We learn, we teach you together how to make money using AI online ASAP.